Hello viewers, welcome back to another video in the lecture series on CCN lab using NCTU NS. In this lecture, we are looking at experiment number 2, that is, implement a 4 node point to point network with link N0 to N2, N1 to N2, and N2 to N3. Apply TCP agent between N0 to N3 and UDP between N1 to N3. Apply relevant applications over TCP and UDP agents. Changing the parameters determine the number of packet sent by TCP or UDP. So, this question has three parts. In the first part, it is specifying how to draw the topology. If you carefully observe the question, here common element is N2. That is, in our diagram, topological diagram, we can make this node 4 as N2 and this uh, sender as N0, this sender as N1 and uh, this receiver as N3. Now, we need to apply TCP between N0 to N3 and UDP between N1 to N3. Next, we need to change the network parameters like bandwidth, queue size and we need to determine how many packets are sent by TCP agent, how many packets are sent by UDP agent and we need to measure how many packets are received by TCP agent and UDP agent at the receiver. So, this is the question. In order to launch NCTUNS, open up the terminal and open three tabs in uh, the terminal and we need to run three processes in the first tab run dispatcher in the second tab run coordinator in the third tab run nc2ns so this will uh, fire up the nc2ns uh, graphical user interface now we shall uh, start with the design phase so we will be selecting the host this will be n0 n1 and n3 and the hub will be n2 so so as the connection is point to point so connect 1 to 4 4 to 2 and 4 to 3 so the first one is sender so i will unnot make an annotation of it is yes. sender and uh, it uh, uses TCP protocol sender TCP and this one we shall make it as uh, sender sending UDP agent sender UDP okay so now the receiver should be capable of receiving uh, both TCP and UDP so we need to write both or we need to implement both TCP and UDP protocol in receiver U, D and P. So this is about the design phase and uh, now we need to save this uh, topology. So we shall move on to the edit phase. So press OK and give the name as uh, anything you like. I am giving as yt dash e x p 2 so don't give the extension as .tpl save it so it will regenerate the ip address click on as now we have moved into edit phase so see the ip address of each of the host this is 1.0.1.1 and its ip is 1.0.1.2 and this ip ip of the receiver is 1.0.1.3 so in the edit phase click on sender tcp so we need to add the command here change the simulation time to 20 seconds and enter the command as stcp since it is uh, we are implementing a tcp agent iphone p port number 3000 space the length of the packet uh, we are sending iphone l and the packet length is 1024 
and the destination IP address is 1.0.1.3 so copy this uh, yeah, we need, don't need to copy this one and click OK and go to node editor and here Mac 802.3 enable the log packet statistics as per the question they asked number of packets sent so enable throughput of outgoing packet click ok and again ok and then ok so now we need to configure the sender UDP so click double click on this one and click on add we change the simulation time to 20 second now the command is stg iphone u that is a UDP protocol packet size is 1024 space port number is 100 and destination to which our packet need to be sent is 1.0.1.3 click ok and ok so here also you need to configure the node editor click on node editor and 802.3 Enable log packet statistics and throughput of outgoing packet. Click on OK. Enter. OK. In uh, receiver, double click. Click on add. Change the simulation time to 20. And uh, command as RTCP space iPhone P packet size for tcp we set in the sender was 3000 so same thing you need to rip it and packet uh, q size is 1024 click on ok click on add change simulation time to 20 second click the command rtcp since it is receiver iphone p and uh, port number is 3000 and packet size is 1024 click on ok and again click on add change simulation type to 20 now we need to enable UDP that is RTG iPhone U space iPhone W write mode uh, log sim yt2 you can give any name here i'm giving simply yt2 click on ok so go to node editor and uh, mag802.3 so here it is incoming packet click on ok again ok and ok so this is about the editing phase you can change the bandwidth but i will be maintaining it as 10 mbps now we shall move on to run phase so here click on s it will save the topology and n number of files will be generated click on ok so we now came to run phase in the run phase we shall start our uh, simulation by clicking on simulation tab and clicking on run button this will start the simulation and it will be lasting for 20 seconds as you can see here for the sake of saving the time of this video, I will be pausing the recording. Once the simulation has completed, I will be resuming. Now, the simulation has been completed and this uh, window will be appearing after the simulation is completed. That is, simulation is done and file transfer is about to begin. Click on OK and file transfer will be start initiating. File transfers are done. So, this will be showing here. Now, we shall uh, play the simulation. So thus we have entered into play phase, just click on play and you can look here. So it is between sender 1 and hub and uh, sender 2 to hub and uh, from hub to data 3. Now that is uh, receiver 3. So it will be running for 20 seconds. So I will be pausing the simulation or stopping the simulation. You can look through the complete uh, duration. Now we shall move on to the plotting up of the graph go to g tools click on plot graph and uh, realign the graph as our simulation was for uh, 20 seconds go to general se uh, settings graph type uh, title as throughput 
throughput time that the width is a uh, 20 second so i will be setting it as 20 and uh, your y level is uh, packets see write it down and uh, oh, click on ok so now go to the file uh, in the roots of folder there will be a folder by name uh, uh, same dot of the experiment that is ytexp2 search for it yeah here it is ytexp2 click it on so see here from n1 to p1 out throughput click this uh, graph see here a small uh, uh, blip will be there that is between 0 to second 2 and from uh, second 5 to second 7 and between second 8 to second 10 this is TCP protocol that is from sender 1 to hub 4 in a similar way if you see the graphical statistics of from sender 2 to hub uh, 4 so select n to p1 out throughput see here it is uh, exponentially growing and after uh, one second the traffic is almost constant so now you shall see the uh, behavior or data transfer pattern from hub to the router see here from second one same as it will be stabilizing up to 20 seconds as tcp traffic was very less it is only maximum traffic is accepted when it is used so write it down the maximum and minimum time interval where the throughputs are and this completes your experiment too thank you for watching please subscribe uh, hit the bell icon so that you will be getting the update and do share with your